How is everyone doing today? Good, I hope you're doing great. Today we're gonna to be doing full back and front left chest on the Rico R1000. This order was for a client that has a lawn care company. They wanted their design updated, so we did that. And now we're gonna print it on some shirts. I did a few of the shirts already. They came out great, so I'm gonna show you one of the prints that I'm doing right now, and this is gonna wrap up the order. The design is already loaded into the RI-1000, both the big back and the left chest. Once you print a design from your computer, it automatically saves to the RI-1000, which is one of the things that I like about it. And um, I'm starting to love this machine more and more the more I print with it. It's easy to maintain um, once you get the hang of it, once you do the maintenance, like every, I, I, I wipe the heads off like every 15 or so shirts and it prints great. So, uh, in other news, we are going to the Long Beach Expo this weekend. I'm flying out tomorrow. So for those of you guys that are going to be down there, I hope you're excited. And if you're not going to be down there, don't worry. I got you guys covered. I'm going to try to go live and show you guys all the behind the scenes stuff at the Impressions Expo in Long Beach. Um, so you guys see the latest, greatest technology in the garment decorating industry. So stay tuned for that, guys. But for now, let's jump into this video. Boom. Wait a minute. Just like that. Boom, 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 boom. Just like that. Just like that. Like, comment, subscribe. Just like that. Boom. Wait a minute. Just like that. Hey, Doug, you ready? Wait a minute. All right, so we're just going to come over here and take our, put our shirt on the platen like so. Lay it down nice and smooth. Make sure it's lined up on both sides and you have nothing at the top, guys. Just take off this little lint right here. And, um, line it up. I like to make my collar just hang slightly off and I use both my hands to kind of like line up the right and the left side guys and I just want to get it nice and smooth before I put the hoop back on there. We're just going to put this inside the machine. Press the button right there and it goes into the RI-1000. We're ready to go guys. Now on the screen of our RI-1000 we're just going to press store jobs and select the job that we're going to do which is the large back and i know exactly which one it is because like i said i did it before let me just select it right there and then press print are you sure yes and then go back and then there's our design right there and it's getting ready to do its thing now if you look inside the ri you can see that print head moving back and forth back and forth laying down that first coat of white ink ever so slightly and smooth guys just trying to get you guys a shot of some machine action on exactly what it does so um yeah it's laying down the first coat of white then after that's done it's going to go back inside the tray is going to go back inside and put down the layer of color but this is the first coat of um of white right here Now that our image is out of the Rico R1000, you guys see our design and how vibrant it looks. The colors are popping a lot. We're now gonna take it off of the Rico R1000 large platen and put it onto our heat press. We're gonna hover for about 300 seconds and then we're gonna press it for about 120 seconds and then we're gonna print on the other side. Let's do it. I'm just gonna take it off this and put it over here to my heat press, right over here and on the neck part, I'm gonna hang the neck, the part that loops down from the back off of my press, but I'm gonna make sure the image is still on the press, if that makes any sense to you guys. All right, so here we go, right here. Now we're gonna put this down and let it hover for 300 seconds. All right, just put that down. And it's not touching right here, it's just hovering. 300 seconds just to air dry it. And this is acting as my, as if I had a conveyor dryer, but I don't obviously. So yeah, 300 seconds. And then we are going to press it. Four, three, two, one. 
and you'll notice that the heat press does not pop up because it is not touching and when heat presses are not touching they don't pop up you have to pull them up all right now i'm just going to adjust my heat press so that it can not hover anymore and then we're going to let it press for about 120 seconds and then we'll be fine with this image then we'll go ahead and do the back so i'm going to lay some parchment paper over top right now and i'm just going to subtract the time from what's already on there that's how i've been doing this so let me take some get the pressure off and there you go sometimes i like to crank it on while it's down but that's tight enough all right so just embedding that image into the back of that shirt and it's going to be good 10 seconds over time it's okay and we're gonna go ahead and let that up and our design is going to be embedded into the shirt just back up from those fumes guys you don't want to breathe it really 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 wish you guys can feel this in person it feels so soft so good so embedded into that there's nothing better than dtg except if you're doing um screen printing maybe but other than that i, I think i got this this i think i got this. In, in the comments down below do i got this down or not let, let me know let me know right now i think i got it down what do you what do y'all think now we're going to do this process again do it backwards lay our shirt onto the platen right here i've already pre-treated this area of the shirt so we are good to go on that all right just lay it on the ri1000 right there and as long as your shirt is straight you have nothing to worry about it will fall right into place because we did all the work in anrip i mean not anrip uh color gate and positioned the the uh logo exactly where we want it to fall and i've done a few of these already so i already know that it lines up perfectly all right so here we go just gonna load that in the machine and like i said i already did this design so it's in my store jobs and i know it's this one because does it say the, dif the difference between the two hmm it doesn't say the difference, which is interesting, but I know it's this one at the top right here. That's a small image, so I'm going to press print. Yes. And now I'm going to press return. And it's going to go ahead and print that on our uh, left chest, left breast of the shirt. And here it is, guys. Left chest logo on the Rico R1000 on our shirt. Looking good. Now let's take it off of here and let us do the same process that we did but we're gonna do it for the left chest. We're gonna hover for 300 seconds and then we're gonna press for 120 seconds. All right, so let's do it. Got my shirt on there, got my platen adjusted all the way up, put it down so it can hover for those 300 seconds. And I twist this knob so it can start counting down. So I know when time is up, it will start beeping, but will not pop up just like before. Now, if you're watching this video and you've seen my face before and you've come back and watched more content, I'm going to need you to hit that subscribe button or figure out a way to hit that subscribe button. Log into your YouTube account and hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button on this video. If you click on the subscribe button and it tells you to sign in, then go ahead and take a moment and sign in for your boy. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Just subscribe and uh, it helps the channel out a lot. Thank you so much. All right. So at 300 seconds. The image is pretty much dried already, guys. You can touch it, it's dry. And the extra time is to just embed the um, ink into the shirt for longevity so it lasts a long time. I heard somebody said that DT, what, what is it? That DTF, what, I forgot what they said. No, they said that white toner lasts longer than DTG. I'm not entirely sure I agree with that because you guys know I've pressed a lot. Uh, I've done a lot of um, DTG shirts and none of my shirts have any issues coming out of the wash. I haven't had any problems with my shirts. They last pretty long, if you ask me. I haven't had any shirt starting to fade or anything like that. Sometimes when you press it down and you don't think you have enough pressure applied, you can go ahead and turn it and clamp it down more if it's uh, while it's down. All right, so that's pretty cool right there. Pretty valuable information to note, I think so. But um, yeah, guys, 120 seconds, like I said, and that's going to embed 
the uh, ink into that fabric so it lasts even longer. Longevity. It's all about longevity, y'all. It's all about longevity. All right, our 120 seconds is pretty much up. Go ahead and let this thing up. And our thing is embedded into the fabric right now. And it should last the customer a bunch of washes. We got front left chest. And we got full back coming at you right there. Can't beat it. I don't think y'all are really getting this. I mean, to be honest with you, the way I do it now and the process that I came up with that works for me, right? Everybody has the process that works for themselves, but the process that works for me, this, I don't know if you guys are catching this on the camera, but it looks like sublimation. The way the fibers are, like the, 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 the ink is really in there. I don't know if or how good the camera is picking this up, guys, but I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but these streaks right here in the shirt, like the ones that go side by side, you can see them kind of sort of in the streaks of the design right there. Um, so you know that that design is embedded into the fabric. This is not, it doesn't even look like a transfer. Look at the gray part right here. You could see like, it's like embedded in there. All right, so don't let anybody tell you the DTG. <laughs> All right, don't let them don't don't let them lie to you. It's the the back right there. You see what I'm talking about? See the see the lines right here? The lines going through the fabric kind of sorta, right? It's embedded in there, guys. Look. Look. This is this is darn near screen printed. I mean, you know what I mean? It's actually it's the screen printing. I guess they give it a press, but they run it through the conveyor, but this actually pushed I pushed the ink down. I push the ink down into the fabric, all right? And that's how I get my prints to last so, so long. My inks are pressed down into the fabric, guys. So there you have it, guys. You can do the front left chest and the full back just like professional companies have all the time. Lawn care companies, uh, who else? Electricians, um, all types of companies, garbage companies, um, offices all, all types of businesses that use them uh have front left left chest in the comments down below write down a business to help everybody in the community find some business for themselves by doing a uh, large in the back and front left chest what are some businesses that have that you see wearing a large uh, logo in the back and the front left chest i think that's a, a bunch of businesses but if you can do this then you can find your own business. The point of all this stuff and the key for all this stuff is finding business, finding people to sell to, finding people to, to make garments for, finding people to uh, be loyal customers so you can consistently generate revenue, consistently do the same designs. Because when you do the same designs, it's so, so easy to do. Like you, you for example, in the, in the embroidery machines, if you digitize a design and you have it Digitize perfectly every time you set it up, boom, it just embroiders out perfectly. DTG, once you do it, do the design, got it set up perfectly, saved in the computer, boom, pre-treat, boom, boom. I need 10 more shirts, boom, boom, knock it out. It's easy, right? So you want a few clients that visit you and use your services consistently, right? So right now, we've done a whole bunch of garment decorating stuff. I'm still gonna play with some stuff like uh do the uh, DTF on there, play with some settings and get this thing to act right. Um, the, the Actually, the DTF I have off camera, it's been going really good. It's been going really good. I got to get the uh, colors to pop a little more. I think we're going to pause once it prints out the once it prints out the color and let it dry a little bit and then um, make it uh, print out the white layer on top because getting a little bit of dye migration. I think the white is seeping into the color, making the image a little bit dull so I have to kind of like figure out a way to um and it has a pause on there like well you don't pause you actually stop it and then you can resume it I think I'm going to experiment with that to get the images to uh, be more vibrant maybe add some more color I don't, I don't know we'll, we'll see but I'm going to mess with that also got to mess with the white toner and guys you got options you got options if you want to make some money you got options thank you so much for watching don't forget to follow me on Instagram Adub Productions follow me on TikTok, A Dub Productions. Follow me on Facebook, A Dub Productions. We'll be at the Impressions Expo tomorrow, so make sure you guys are tuned in. Keep it locked. Make sure you guys subscribe. 
thumbs up on this video if you liked it and i'll talk to you guys on the next one peace turn up that crank it up while i listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best baby